Welcome back. Now we're going to go over the process, creating your sacred space. The objective is to create space for what is important in your life. We're going to take three actions today. Number one, creating the sacred space in your mind. Two, creating the sacred space physically. And three, creating the anchor connection from your 3D reality to your psychological reality. Let's begin. By creating sacred space in your mind and your home, this is going to allow you to return to your sacredness, remembering that your path and your faith are always yours, regardless of any outside influences. Like I said, we're going to take three actions. One, creating a sacred space in your mind so that you can align with an elevated, excited, and sacred mindset. Two, creating the sacred space physically to anchor your intention and ritual in your manifested reality. Three, create the reverence between your mind and your manifested reality. Creating the sacred space in your mind. Identify an area that you want to change from the mundane to something sacred. Choose an area that you express apathy, numbness, or just sitting with little or no change in your life. Something that is boring and has been predictable in your daily life. Now, grab pen and paper and write down your beliefs that influence your choices to stay in the mundane, bored, or unconscious pattern. I encourage you to actually type or write this out. Your mind will only come up with so many ideas and you might trail off and daydream and add more energy to creating that belief further. I want you to write them down. That way you can have some distance between the thought, the idea and the feeling and see it objectively. And also you can keep asking yourself the question, is this the belief? Is this belief? So you can get to a core belief versus the first one, which might just be a surface answer. Then connect with the desire to step into a new reality, the one that you really want. Then choose to drop your reasoning or beliefs that make you stay small or stand still. Replace with the belief that you create what you want to experience now consciously moving forward and accept a resistance free mindset so you can receive new inspired actions. Number two, create the sacred space physically. Now that we've created some space mentally, we need to create a space in our home, no matter how small or insignificant it is. That way we have a reminder that our life is sacred. So we can anchor in your intention and ritual into your manifested reality. Creating the sacred space in your home, no matter how simple it is. Identify a space in your home that is not special or unique. This space that you pass daily, perhaps. However, do not choose a workspace. Whether you work remotely or off-site, do not choose a space that you work. This is usually something that my clients will bring up as an opportunity because they work so much. And it, there's, there's a laugh. And then there's usually an aff affirmation that this is the only place they're willing to do any work. And then I have a difficult time breaking them away because they get in the habit of only doing their mindset work and their awakening work when they're already on task. And therefore the phone keeps ringing, the computer keeps telling what to do. You know, we create a space in your home. It doesn't have to be significantly big. Any small place that you can shift from a place of resistance to allowing. So I challenge you to create a new inspired view of this area. What would this space represent to you if you could choose a sacred, holy, or worthiness to this area? What would a change of this space include as a change internally within you? Now create the anchor connection from your 3D reality to your psychological reality. Continue to keep this area and space clean and with it, increase your awareness of any desires to create more sacred spaces in your home or anywhere else in your life. 